when forests in tropical uplands are cleared, the process of soil erosion accelerates and the surrounding ecosystem rapidly degrades. In 1990, I began to cultivate this land and have seen that soil erosion caused by heavy rain is a problem because it doesn't only erode the soil but also my crops. Some time ago, I heard about a new technology called NBS or Natural Vegetative Strips. I adapted the technology in my field and I have observed that it requires less labor to establish and it's effective in, in controlling soil erosion. Natural vegetative strips are not really a new thing. Some farmers have been using them for years, for they're a traditional practice that we've seen in a few areas of the Philippines. What's new is that scientists and extensionists have begun to realize that this traditional practice makes sense. It's a simple solution for a big problem. Many farmers and their families are unfortunate in having to farm steep, fragile hillsides. But with natural vegetative strips, they can do so and expect to maintain their yields continuously over years. They won't have to abandon their farms because soil loss has caused their yields to decline. Natural vegetative strips, which are planted 8 to 12 meters apart, will effectively control and protect soil particles from being detached and transported as the result of erosion by rainfall. So these strips are the key to the soil erosion concept. They provide the barrier and increase the infiltration of water so that the soil particles accumulate behind the barrier rather than running off the field. As years pass, a hillside with natural vegetative strips will be preserved and transformed into terraced alleyways, thus increasing crop yields and greatly diminishing the problems of erosion. For the lowland communities, by keeping the soil on the land, they protect against siltation of the irrigation systems. They reduce flooding of the big lowland cities. And they keep the fisheries on the coastal zones from being destroyed by sedimentation. To establish NBS, I determined the contour line using the cow's back method. When the head and the back of the cow is level, this means I am plowing along the contour line. But if the cow's back goes down or uphill, it means that it's not following the correct contour line. After I established my NBS, I improved them by planting perennial crops on the hedgerow, like timber trees, bananas, and fruit trees. The timber tree can be used in constructing a house can be sold as lumber and can also be used as firewoods. The fruits can be sold for additional income and the wood can be used for construction and firewoods. And the grasses can be used as fodder for livestock and this saves my time in looking for grasses. We've certainly seen big changes in the years that we've worked here in the tropical uplands of northern Mindanao. When we first came and we asked farmers why do you plow straight up and down the slopes? It accelerates the soil erosion. It makes it faster. But they said it's easier. It's less work to plow up and down the hill. But today, when most farmers have changed their practice and plow along the contour, now we ask them, why do you do it? They say, because it's easier. It's less work. So that's an example of the kinds of changes that can occur in an agricultural community when the norms of agriculture change over time. This video was produced by the International Center for Research in Agroforestry with financial support from the Cornell International Institute for Food and Agricultural Development. Support for research was provided in part by the United States Agency for International Development and Cooperación Española, the Spanish International Cooperation Agency.